what's up guys so it seems that they released the playoff promo a little early so that's completely fine by me you see right here Tom Brady is the uh, playoff hero but each team has five elites and five golds and before I get to the uh, playoff leaders I'm gonna go team by team to see which players are worth getting the first of which are the Patriots and the only player here that really stood out to me that is worth getting in my opinion is the kicker Goskowski Gost however you say it only because my current kicker Tucker they both have 94 kick power but this one has the uh, focused kicker I believe it's called so the uh, kicking meter slows down which is always useful no matter how good of a player you are so I'm definitely 100% gonna pick him up no doubt about it but as far as the other players man this is really the only guy that I can see that's worth picking up at least in my opinion for uh, you know my team that is next are the Chiefs and Tyreek Hill was really the first player that stood out obviously like most people hoping he would have like crazy speed and he does just like Brandon Cooks but they both have 94 speed they're both 5 foot 10 but as you can see here man Cooks is better at catching I mean like every single catch rating except for release which is not a catch rating but I'm saying he's obviously the better catcher overall so I definitely do not see myself um, benching Cooks for Hill but if you need a good speedy guy Tyreek Hill is a good, is a good option if you don't want to go with Cooks I guess and Poe man he may not get that many pass rushes with only 84 power move but 94 strength 94 block shed 91 tackle that guy will be a run stuffing machine so if you need help stopping the run man and you're looking for a good, good defensive tackle man Poe is I, I can only imagine how good he would really be next is the Pittsburgh Steelers and of course James Harrison man his stats look crazy 93 strength 94 block shed 92 hit power 91 tackle only 80 speed but I believe he does have a 94 power move so if you were to blitz him I mean I'm sure he'd get a uh, decent pressure and he may not be the fastest with only 80 speed but if you're going up against someone who, who does not have a you know pass or a uh, mobile quarterback I'm sure he, really, he really wouldn't struggle that much but as far as the Steelers man that's really all about it next up is the Houston Texans the first one that caught my eye Will Fuller and I was once again just like Tyree Kill hoping he'd be a burner and he is 93 speed but 86 catch in traffic 88 catch I can already see him dropping passes in traffic so maybe not the best slot receiver obviously but you see whether his uh, chemistry deep threat man if you want to send him deep he'd definitely get open I'm sure a lot next is merciless I mean edge setter chemistry 91 block shed 84 speed 82 strength not that great but but he does have a 93 power move so just like uh, James Harrison if you were to blitz him, I'm sure him and Harrison would both get decent pressure. As far as who would get more pressure, I guess Harrison because he does have better stats overall. But I mean, Merciless doesn't really look that bad either. Next up, the Oakland Raiders and of course, Dan Williams. Man, this guy always has good cards in Ultimate Team. 93 strength, 93 block shed, great run stopping traits. Only an 87 power move, so just like Poe, I don't think he would be the best pass rusher. But if you need someone to you know stuff the run, I mean... I mean, you know, why not? I mean, he's gonna, I'm sure he's going to do a great job there, right? And honestly, that's really about it as far as these uh, players go for the Oakland Raiders. Next up, the one and only, Fins Up, Miami Dolphins. And just like uh, Tyreek Hill and Will Fuller, 93, or actually Tyreek Hill had 94 speed, but just like Will Fuller, man, 93 speed. Not the best slot receiver, but if you want to send him deep, I'm sure he'll burn a few corners. Next a player here is Tony Lippett converted wide receiver 88 catch man 6 foot 2 great stats however only a 90 speed 90 excel I don't uh, 91 excel excuse me I don't recommend putting him out wide because if someone for example like Kenny Stills Tyree Kill Will Fuller if, if he has to cover them deep man he will get burned but possibly a, a great nickel corner though but anyways that's really about it from the Dolphins Next up is the Cowboys and Leary definitely caught my eye right away with his very nice stats. 91 strength, 92 run block, 92 impact block, only an 88 pass block but if you got the right players on the offensive line man you could boost that up. And of course with his other chemistry as well you can make him even that much better but as far as the Cowboys that's really all I see that caught my eye. Next up the Atlanta Falcons and of course Tevin Coleman man. A fan favorite of ultimate team 6'1 92 speed 93 excel compared to team of the week david johnson the uh, first one not the 93 overall coleman is definitely faster but david johnson is a better trucking back because he does have a better strength rating they both have an 88 carry but as far as stick work and everything obviously coleman is a better option i mean 
David Johnson only has an 81 spin, whereas Coleman has a, a 92. So they're very comparable. And I think overall, I think Coleman might be better, assuming how you use the sticks. Next up, the Seattle Seahawks, KJ Wright. He is another player I definitely have to pick up as soon as I get a chance, man. 91 block shed, 85 speed, 94 tackle, 91 pursuit, 6 foot 4, 89 zone. That is crazy, man. And that's without the chemistry boost. So if you were to get his chemistry boosted up, man, that this guy could be dangerous. So that's why I'm definitely going to pick him up. And Levante David, you know, he's been solid for me. But, I mean, I can't pass up KJ right with those stats. Next is the Green Bay Packers and these two tackles here, they're very good at pass blocking but their run blocking stats do not look good. I mean they're both like an 85 run block so that's just not going to cut it. The fullback on the other hand looks pretty solid. I mean I believe, yeah, 84 speed, 89 run block. Man there's no reason that he should not be out there making great blocks against linebackers, defensive ends, corners, whoever it is and springing your running back for big gains and making your run game even that much more effective. And last but not least the Detroit Lions. This right guard man. I believe all of his stats are like in the 90s or above. Yeah, right there. Look, look at that strength, run block, pass block, impact block. Very reliable. But anyways, guys, this is part one of the playoff promo. I will be doing a, a part two talking about the playoff team leaders. Let me know, guys, in the comments, which of these players do you look forward to the most? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested. I'll see you guys for part two. Peace.